Hi, my name is Dr. Taya Rosick. I'm a psychiatry resident at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'm one of the co-authors on the paper entitled The Impact of Comorbid Psychiatric Disorders on Methadone Maintenance Treatment for Opioid Use Disorder. Opioid use is a growing healthcare concern worldwide, with increasing numbers of opioid users and increasing prevalence of opioid use disorder. Our research team sought out to investigate outcomes in methadone maintenance treatment, the most common treatment for opioid use disorder. Specifically, we examined the association between psychiatric comorbidity and outcomes of treatment. Previous studies have shown that many individuals with opioid use disorder have one or more coexisting psychiatric illnesses. Furthermore, having a mental illness places individuals at increased risk for developing opioid use disorder when they use prescription or recreational opioids. We use data collected prospectively from 935 patients receiving methadone maintenance treatment in outpatient clinics across Southern Ontario. Using linear regression analysis, we examine the association between presence of psychiatric comorbidity and ongoing illicit opioid use as measured by percentage of opioid positive urine drug screens. During methadone maintenance treatment, it is routine practice for patients to provide urine samples for drug screening to determine whether they have ongoing illicit opioid use, which is an indicator of poor treatment response. We found that 80% of our patients met criteria for at least one comorbid psychiatric disorder, with anxiety disorders being the most common comorbidity. Forty-two percent of patients had a comorbid substance use disorder, with comorbid cannabis use disorder being the most common. Psychiatric comorbidity on the whole was not significantly associated with ongoing illicit opioid use. However, subgroup analysis revealed that comorbid tranquilizer use disorder and comorbid cocaine use disorder were significantly associated with ongoing illicit opioid use. As such, we identified a specific population at higher risk of poor treatment outcomes in methadone maintenance treatment. Methadone maintenance treatment protocols and guidelines may use this information to develop targeted interventions for this subset of patients at a higher risk of poor treatment outcomes. Thank you.